Now, in the 21st century, philosopher Donna Haraway asks, the human and non-human, the organic and technological, carbon and silicon, freedom and structure, story and myth, the rich and the poor, the state and the subject, diversity and depletion, modernity and postmodernity, and nature and culture. Can it be tied up in unexpected ways by living together through cohabitation and co-evolution? There was an artist who asked these serious questions much earlier in the 20th century in a very pleasant way with a great humor. The eclipse is the moment when sun meets moon. It's popularly understood as a phenomenon of nature where the moon appears from obscurity to engulf the view of the sun bringing sudden darkness during daytime. Contrary to current belief, from a traditional point of view, this phenomenon was perceived as a decisive event that would determine the world's fortune across all times and countries. It is sometimes understood as a sign of an end to authoritative regimes and establish social codes and simultaneously a reservation of the power to minorities that is representative of the rise of the new vitalities. Nam Jun Pak referred with delight to the invention of the cathode ray tube as the first ever consequence in the history of mankind in which the weak bit the powerful. Continuous change and creation of the moon, this potentiality and vitality has a strong imminent connection with Pak's work with video. Namjoon said, All art is a scam. All truth is the truth of a mask. True art is a moment that shines apart from general science and technology, industrialization, and civilized knowledge created by humans. Heidegger stated that the world is not the sum of things but a continuation of the situation in which existence is. Art is an activity that reveals the original form of a hidden being, that is, the truth. Nam Jun Pat introduced a new vision of being that the world of electronic circuit is our reality. This reality has been further transformed, as articulated by David Jocelyn through Nam Jun Pak's translation of electronic circuits into art. From this point of view, there is a strong correlation between the context of electronic circuitry and the concept of the mask. This phenomenon is expressed particularly accurately at the Michael level. 
the properties of all things, and compass the form of both particle and a wave. And everything is false from the perspective of the particle. Everything in front of you now has all of these hard materials, both contiguous and discrete, all wearing masks. In the relationship between phenomena and essence, the world is a virtual stage. This is part of why Nam Jin Tech was able to find a playfulness and a joke in everything. He had a fantastic sense of humor to express these meaning and phenomena. Nam Jin Pak spent all the money he had to purchase TVs that were high priced at the time. Just before Seoul Olympic, maybe 50 million people in the world saw it. But uh, I lost a lot of money. <laughs> Until now, at the beginning of the 21st century, no Korean artist has emerged that can surpass the fame and the artistic achievements by Nam Jun Pak. He has been broadly considered to be an innovative cross-hemisphere artist, even garnering the nickname Cultural Terrorist from the East, a reputation built on his confluence of East and West. What he wanted to do was achieve freedom through art and peace for humanity. He's a character who produced avant-garde, whimsical and satirical works with a cosmic imagination and the virtue of attacking the supremacy of Western art has left a deep impression across the globe. The Park 선생님이 이 인포 아트를 어 기획 기획하게 된 동기는 인포메이션 아트 즉 인터랙티브 상호적인 그런 비디오 아트의 선구자가 나다. 백 선생님이 1965년에 파티시페이션 TV라는 작품을 만들었어요. 그거는 카메라 아 텔레비전 수상기 모니터 앞에서 자석을 들고 돌리면 거기에 나타나는 이미지가 변형하는 거예요. 그래서 관객 참여로 이루어지는 예술이라 그게 바로 인터랙티브 아트의 초기적인 형태였죠. Good morning, Mr. Orwell. Bonjour, Monsieur Orwell. Good morning, Mr. Orwell. The mission? Nam Jun Pak's legacy confronts a range of issues, from human rights to Eurocentricity, high-level ideology to everyday practices, and these are, above all, current issues. This practice also includes issues such as the humanization of machines through advanced technologies, such as AI in the 20th century, with a forward-looking view toward a more generous and collaborated approach to being in the 21st century. Controlling the relationship between humans and machines is known as the cybernetic. It is a story that humans can handle all processes from transmission to reception. This gave rise to exploring the function of control and the relationship between human control and uncontrollable nature. In this relationship too, is the opportunity for connection, for healing, for negotiation, for mediation. Nam Jun Pek understood the media not merely as a fact, but as an opportunity, finding his way through an electronic circuit, as it were, 
This is the exit that he discovered. Creation, specifically with the principle of electronic circuits, reversed the principle of nothingness. Nam Jun Pak did not create something out of nothing, but overturned this very idea. By translating electronic circuits into art, he worked to change the circuits themselves. He transformed them into art. Video, of course, is predicated on electronic devices. It is a tool for communication. Media must presuppose communication. Horizontal, vertical, sky, and earth. This is Nam Jun Pak's meaning of communication. Pak Nam Jun's the video art. So video art, also, art and. 어, 인간, 삶, 생활을 연결하고 어, 그 다음에 뭐그 예술과 삶 뿐만 아니라 예술과 기술, 예술과 유흥 모든 그 이질적 요소를 어, 통합해서 하나의 새로운 그 장르로 만들어낸 것이 비디오 아트라 그 어떤 소통을 한다, 교류한다는 라 의미에서 같은 미디어로서 상당히 유사점을 많이 갖고 있습니다 Through electronic circuitry, a new civilizational attempt to communicate before and after history, to connect the East and the West, and to combine technical and scientific principles, both within and beyond the physical dimensionality of the Earth were re-envisioned and created as art. The first half of the 20th century was defined by Duchamp, and the second half of the 20th century was defined by Andy Warhol. At the time, overcoming Duchamp was a task of all artists. Duchamp created an artistic situation in which the entrance was wide and the exit was narrow. But Nam Jun Pak found an exit beyond Duchamp. Duchamp was an artist representing the Industrial Era. Following the Industrial Revolution, the modernization of industrialization, and perhaps most significantly, the ready-made. Whereas Duchamp's ready-made implied mass-produced industrial products, Nam Jun Pak's work existed as a network object as a networked object, as not just a ready-made, as networked ready-made. If you go to the atomic level, everything, even universe, will be identical. In the physical world that we can observe with the naked eye, everything is distinguished, and the ready-made TB that operates by control at the atomic level is perceived to be a TV. So, you know, uh, things are not only things, but what things can mean, you know? Not just by chance you pick up, you know, like Duchamp or Cage, but in my case, I construct something, you know, with that history. Creep into vagina of a live female world. In the 20th century, Nam Jun Pak predicted the future of the 21st. Nam Jun Pak tried to tie everything together. It is our legacy now to carry forth this tradition not only of connectivity and invention, but also to rediscover one another, to re-examine the masks of perception and being and to reinvest in the value of art as a force for healing, unity, joy, and hope for the future of humanity. <laughs>